Hi everyone, I want to get you with one more video here uh, about the last problem and just recording it in the other method that we showed you for how to solve. So this is the problem we were looking at before. Um, we factored the bottom, set up the repeated factors. Uh, we cleared out all the fractions by multiplying by the uh, total denominator on the other side, canceled everything out, and we'd arrived at this type of expression here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on the other side, we were able to solve this by plugging in various x's, but I told you that there was a way to solve these by setting this up uh, like a system. So I thought we'd do that right here. So the way that works is first you take all these quadratics and uh, multiply them out. So this is x squared minus four times a. This is b times x squared minus two x. And this is c times x squared plus two x. And then we say, all right, that that's ax squared minus 4a plus bx squared minus 2xb plus cx squared plus 2xc. Now let's group all the terms by degree. So I've got some x squared terms. I've got some x terms. And I've got some constant terms. Notice that that 4a is actually a constant term just because it doesn't have any x. It has an a, but that's not the variable we're looking at. We're looking for the constants in the polynomial. So I'm gonna have ax squared plus bx squared plus cx squared minus 2xb plus 2xc minus 4a plus, oh, uh, wait a minute, minus 4a. <clears throat> Sorry, that 2x was on uh, B and C. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I got six terms total. Okay. So let me factor everything out. So we have A plus B plus C x squared minus, no, we're going to make this plus negative 2B plus 2C x plus negative 4a. Uh, now, obviously that's a little bit weird in terms of factoring, but what it's gonna let us do is look at the parallel structure. So I'm gonna study the parallel structure here and notice that the 2x squared has to match with the abcx squared. The minus 18x has to match with that term. And the minus 12 has to match with the minus 4a. So I can write three equations from this a plus b plus c equals 2, minus 2b plus 2c equals negative 18, and negative 4a equals negative 12. Now I'm writing this out in uh, columns because if I was going to solve this like a system, I could now, for example, put this in a matrix on my calculator. Uh, or write it out in a system and solve with elimination, or any of the number of ways that you know how to solve systems. But this one actually looks like it will be easy to solve with substitution because I can immediately find that a is 3. And bringing that value in here, uh, if that's 3, then I could take away 3 from both sides and get that b plus c is equal to negative 1, but negative 2b plus 2c equals negative 18. And let me move you over here. Now that I know that, I can solve the system. Why don't I multiply this whole equation by 2 and add straight down. So I get that 4c is equal to negative 20, and c would then equal minus 5. Uh, and sorry, I just had to pause to check something. Uh, c is, in fact, equal to minus 5. And if you remember from the last video, I solved for c by plugging in x equals 2. And I made a big oopsie and forgot that 8 minus 48 is actually minus 40, which means that c would equal minus 5 in the other video as well. Uh, I'll have to go back and correct that, but for now we are actually correct. 
Uh, so now if we know A and B, we also know that B plus C had to equal minus 1. That's what we said before. So uh, B minus 5 has to be minus 1. That means that B would have to be 4. So we have A is 3, B is 4, and C is negative 5. Um, I actually think, now that I've done both ways, I actually thought this way was easier than the last way. Uh, because when you got down to that system, it was a lot easier to solve. Versus this way, I had to do a lot of um, plugging in numbers into that quadratic, and I honestly, I screwed it up. So, you know, if you go look at where did I make the least errors, the way that seems like it's going to be hardest actually presented the least opportunities for mistakes. Um, so plugging those numbers in, we get 3 over x, 4 over x plus 2, and minus 5 over x minus 2. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching this update. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed your video. I will see you next time.